So this was a topic that's come about in a number of videos. Uh, this YouTuber named Soph and BuzzFeed kind of fuzzed her face out. So this is what she, she looks like. Uh, this 14 year old kid and this ridiculous article in BuzzFeed <laughs> was, uh, you know, they call their YouTube's newest far right foul mouth red pilling star is a 14 year old girl. So they went here and said, you know, how, I've got, how does a 14 year old girl dressed in a Shador ha have to say on YouTube to amass more than 800,000 followers? How about this? I've become a devout follower of the Prophet Muhammad. Suffice to say, I've been having an F ton of fun. Of course, I get raped by my boy. <laughs> so, look, I am not going to repeat this stuff. It's probably going to get me a strike. But this, like when I watched one of her videos, it was so obscene and in your face. I just had to subscribe. I was like, whoa. And it was an amazing some of the ways that she's able to, uh, you know, both tie together, um, you know, different different points and use the sarcasm and and uh, satire of different uh, of different uh, things that are going on is just it's unbelievable. I, I can't believe somebody is this smart at the age of 14. And she 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 makes fun of people saying that, but. No, it's, it's true. Like, how how did somebody, you know, get this early of a start? I myself, I could never dream of do, doing some of the editing and, and the other tricks that she's able to do because, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not that good of a video editor. And you're, you're, you're kind of lucky you're getting a, a visual display as good as this crap that you're seeing before you right now. But the, the bigger point <laughs> is this. BuzzFeed writes an article on, on, on this person, not because she is in any danger, not because she's harming anyone, not because people are have anything to fear from her, but because she expresses a set of ideas and, uh, you know, viewpoints that is unacceptable to them. That's why they called her a far right foul mouth uh, red pilling star. And complain about her being 14 years old. Here's the truth, okay? BuzzFeed has no problem with with uh, not Franklin, but Arthur, <laughs> that that show with the anteater that we all grew up with. You know, there was Arthur, and I think the the the, the rabbit's name was Buster, and whatever. And, and then there was his kid sister DW. For whatever reason, <laughs> in the past couple days, they decided, you know, we're we're gonna make Arthur's teacher the some gay dude. And then they have Bill Nye <laughs> having this stupid video where he's like, hey, I'm going to say the F word a bunch of times and light the globe on fire to, to talk about climate change. And, and then they want to complain about, <laughs> you know, profanity and, and uh, you know, decency and whatever. You have, you have Desmond is Amazing goes on Michael Strahan's show, this, this uh, weird kid, this – this drag kid going on TV repeatedly, you know, and, and they just clap and they, they love it that this this kid is, is being paraded around gay clubs and these grown men are throwing dollar bills at him. It's, it's disgusting. And we ought to start to realize that this is the real battle of our generation. It has nothing. Climate change is, is ridiculous. Climate change has nothing to do with the real challenge of our generation and the generation of, of the youth that, that comes, that's co coming up like right now, it's censorship. Censorship is the real war. Censorship and speech policing and virtue signaling and political correctness, that is the real challenge of our generation. And, you know, Self, her channel, you know, it is a, it is a little weird, but it's, it's amazing it's amazing stuff, and it's so amazing that BuzzFeed, which is is laying off employees, and and you know they're getting sued for fake news that they spread about you know peeing prostitutes in Moscow. They see a threat in some kid from freak. I, I don't even know where she's from. I don't really care. 
Uh, I don't think she puts out that many videos anyways. Who cares? Who the hell cares? This is essentially fear-mongering for the sake of, you know, staying alive. It, it is what they're talking about when, you know, I think Tim Poole went over it a couple days ago. He said that sometimes uh, a swimmer, when he's drowning, uh, lashes out and begins to, you know, have violent, uh, you know, violent reflexes in order to stay alive. That is exactly what's happening when you see these types of hit pieces. People asking for more censorship, more people to be barred. Uh, look, they know that they don't really have anything to offer anymore to, you know, new audiences. That's why their audiences are shrinking instead of expanding. And some people are expanding their audiences. Some of them happen to be people with very, you know, risque opinions. And that's fine. That's really, the, America will, will, will live through it. Eventually this kid, you know, they might change their opinion on some of these issues that they have a problem with, or they won't, and we'll, <coughs> we'll move on. That's about it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also subscribe to me on BitChute at Chef Leopard and on Minds.com at Chef Leopard and on Gab at Starscream85. You can also find me on Subscribestar and contribute there. Subscribestar.com slash Chef Leopard. See you guys later.